Major John Madden from Playa La Bamba in the Boca del Rio. Upper class, upper middle class to rich neighborhood south of Veracruz. Now I, so that's all, I guess pretty much full moon up there. And we've got the sounds of the surf back here when that car goes by. In the roughly five days I've been here, I have been relishing in the power of the ocean. Back to the ocean, walking the beach. More every day. Deeper in the water yesterday, I haven't really been swimming. There actually was pretty rough undertow. And the big Mexican guy there warned me against it. And I knew he was right that I could get in trouble easy. And it's all red markers. You're not supposed to be swimming beyond certain buoys. Uh, <clears throat> but the power of nature feeling so good to me here. Now yesterday I ran smack up against the power of society, class, the way the cops here uh, admit to being under the thumb of the wealthy people who live here year-round or have places here year-round cop said to me, you know that's not marijuana you're smoking. I know that's not marijuana you're smoking. If we get another call from one of these rich citizens saying you're smoking marijuana, I'm going to have to run you in. <laughs> that was pretty, pretty stark admission as to who's calling the shots there. So I rankled about that. Uh, and was mad, was mad. And it had sullied my experience of this place and I more and more was seeing the people jogging by and I had already commented that the people who in, on the weekends normal people come out here although if they're paying 2,500 pesos for the Punta Azul Hotel they're in a different class than the folks down by the harbor who were paying 800 pesos or even less And the people who live here or have a condo here are wealthy Mexicans. They're the kind of wealthy Mexicans who own property in South Padre Island. Mostly that's Monterey folks. So the joggers, how many of them are affluent? A lot. I see an awful lot of apple earbuds, which are top dollar. And too many people not with their feet on the ground, not present. It's reminding me an awful lot of Cherokee Park back in Louisville, Kentucky. A lot. So I was, I was not liking a lot of the people running by yesterday. So it's awfully nice. Oh, here we go. Here's a big troop of runners. Huh. They could even be from the Navy base. Did they run this far? I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Some of them. But they may also be affluent suburbanites out here. Uh, but to be suspended between the moon, La Luna, and El Mar, that's back to basics. That's where it's me, my relationship with this little piece of earth and water and unaffected by money and class. So I'm gonna go back to that. I'll let, I'll let it run for a minute till a car goes by, by and wrecks the noise of the surf. And the crickets, do you hear the crickets? I don't know if they come across. I love crickets. Going back to Asheville.
Good morning, folks. Buenos dias. Sometimes you say buen mañana, buen mañana, morning. Also means tomorrow. But mostly people say buenos dias. And I really love the Stripe store in Westlaco, Texas. Uh, Rio Grande Valley was 90% Latino, but the Stripes people, their chipper greeting to pretty much everybody coming through the door was, morning, oh, good morning. But that one Stripe store said, buenos dias. Out of acknowledgement that they were Latino and most of the customers were Latino. <laughs>